Hello everybody, this is John from USA Mondon. Welcome back and thanks for watching. If it's your first time on my channel, as always, welcome. Today I have another video for you guys. Today is Q&A Friday episode number 47. In this episode, as always, I'm going to answer a question one of my subscribers sent me on YouTube. Just stay tuned and I'll be right back. USA Mondon Alice uh, Gonzalez uh, sent me this on YouTube. Alice Gonzalez uh, sent me this message on YouTube. Hello, I hope you can help me. I'm going to be my husband's sponsor, but don't make the required income for a family of three. We live with my parents. Can they fill out the form I-864A? If so, do both my parents fill one out or just one form is fine. Also, another question. Can I use my husband's income as well instead of my parents? Hello, Elias, and thanks for your question. First of all, this is not a legal advice, okay? So the question you send me on YouTube is that you petition for your husband, but you don't meet the income requirement of family size of three. And uh, you live with your parents. You're wondering if your parent uh, can become a household member to help you or if you can use your husband's income uh, to meet the income uh, requirement when you petition for somebody the main thing is to meet the income requirement because uh, it's showing that you can be financially responsible for the intended immigrant okay so in your case you don't meet the income requirement and that's why you're asking this question if your parent can help you since you live with your parent you guys live on the same address yes they can become a, uh, a household member help you to uh, petition for your husband so both of them had to fill up form ia 64 a okay and also you can use your husband's income as well uh, your husband can provide his income uh, to petition him okay in order for your husband to do that he has to show that whatever source of income he has is permanent okay he can show proof of uh, uh, income evidence by providing uh, uh, a pay stub or uh, a more recent w2 on uh, and also a letter from his employer showing that he works there. I hope I answered your question and once again, thank you. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys love and learn something from it. If you know somebody who needs to watch this video, please share with that person. If you like the video, hit the like button, hit the bell. If you want to see more video like this one, all you got to do is subscribe. Once again, my name is John. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. USA Mundo